What's up guys and welcome back to episode 6 of Score Streak Prototypes. Today we're going to be talking about the Trinity Rocket and the prototypes that it has to offer us. Now, while this isn't my favorite score streak, it definitely has some of the coolest variants. So we're going to be talking about all three of those. We're going to see what they look like because honestly, there's not a huge difference if you're not looking at it. And if you're getting blown up by it, you're not going to notice it. Unless you notice the little announcer that usually pops up on the right hand side and tells you the score streak coming in as well as the prototype now. So it, they're really hard to differentiate. The only one that really stands out is the Epic because you can shoot endless amounts of rockets. So you kind of catch on pretty quickly when someone's using that one. But to start off, we have the first rare prototype called Fisher. And what that gives you is the Ripple Perk. And what that says is it gives us a single payload with a large explosion that ripples outwards. So to start off, the negative side of things is you only get that single payload. This thing only shoots one rocket. You don't get those two side missiles that fire out anymore. So you have to use this wisely. You get one shot and one shot only. So make sure you don't mess up. But let's compare it with just the basic Trinity rocket. So here it is. Huge shout out to BVA3016. He came in, jumped into a custom lobby. I let him whoop my ass for a few minutes and he called in these score streaks for me. But this is what the normal Trinity rocket looks like. He does shoot all three of them out. The third one does get caught up in the rafters or whatever. But as you can see, it's a decent sized explosion. This is what we normally see. But switching over to the rare prototype, you're going to see this thing hit down. And it almost looks like, like multiple explosions. It's almost like three explosions occur. And it does ripple outwards towards my right. So it does cover a much larger area, which is really nice. And I've used this in real games, and it actually works pretty well. Because usually, when I'm firing those first two, they're just random shots. And, you know, they're, they're smaller, so they're not as impactful if you come near an enemy. But with this single payload, when it does explode, it does create a much larger explosion area. And uh, chances are you're going to get at least one or two guys. So, I really like this one. It's not the best, so don't get me wrong. So, overall, for the money, this one is pretty good. And I would definitely use it over the base Trinity Rocket. Now, hopping into the legendary prototype called Abyss, what this gives you is implosion. And what that reads is it starts to implode on impact, sucking in nearby enemies before exploding. So this is back to our normal Trinity Rocket. It does have three shots, but here is the legendary. This is what it looks like. As you're going to see, it almost explodes first and then implodes, and it gets a little bit bigger, and then it sucks everybody in and explodes again. So again, it is slightly a little bit larger than the common prototype, in my opinion, as you can see from just watching it. You still get three missiles, and uh, it, it does suck people in. It's nothing crazy. I would compare it to... I'd probably compare it to the black hole. It's nothing crazy like the striker's gravity gun. It's not that powerful, but I definitely say it's like a black hole. It has a decent amount of ability to suck you in. And in case you were wondering, yes, all three shots do implode. The first two are a little bit smaller. And then as you can tell from the sound effects, that third one is a little bit more powerful. But yes, all three shots do actually implode. So it's very useful. And when it comes between this one and the rare one, I don't think there's any huge benefit between using one or the other. They both have unique abilities, and uh, it, it depends on what you want. If you want that larger explosion with the rare prototype, then go ahead and use that. It does cover a much larger area, but if you still want to keep those three shots, then the legendary is probably your best bet. But obviously, the epic prototype is going to actually be epic. It's going to be better than all three Trinity Rockets, whether it be the common, the rare, or the legendary, and that is the Warhead. And what that gives you is a, uh, a pretty well-named perk called Endless, and that gives you the ability to continuously fire a series of non-tracking missiles per launch. So you can call this thing in and you can literally spam your trigger and it will shoot as many rockets as possible. Now there is a slight delay. It's almost like it's reloading rockets. So there is a slight delay and it does take about a second to reload before you can actually spam the trigger again and start shooting missiles. Now the most I've ever called in when using the Epic Trinity rocket is a total of 17. So every time you fire, it shoots out four mini rockets and you can get four sets of those off. Plus, you get the missile that you're actually shooting from that explodes. So you get a total of 17 missiles that rain down. Now, the batch of four, they don't split off or anything, so it's really technically one. But it is four missiles that come down and kind of explode. So technically, it gives you five shots or five missiles when shooting this thing, which is actually really good. Very powerful, and I don't think there's any map or anything like that where the Trinity rocket would spawn higher up in the air. So I don't think there's a chance you'll ever get more than 16 shots plus your main one. I think that's just like the 
that's like the most you can get even if you're spamming the right trigger. But overall, the Epic one is definitely worth it. It's better than the other ones if you actually use the Trinity Rocket. I feel like the Trinity Rocket isn't used too much nowadays. It's nothing like the Predator was in MW2. Those were like the good old days when that thing reigned supreme. But yeah, it's just, it's not used too much in Infinite Warfare for whatever reason. It's decent. It's definitely not the best score streak. But uh, you just don't run into it too often. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You can see what each of the prototypes look like, what they have to offer, and all that good stuff. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It always helps me out. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. Check out all the other videos as well. I'll be doing a few more Score Freak variants as well. But uh, other than that, that's going to be a wrap on this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching.